So this week, friends, we're going to talk about jungle. And guess what letter jungle starts with? Jungle starts with the letter J. We're going to read some fun stories that deal with some animals that live in a jungle. Here we go. Our first story is Spunky Little Monkey. Do monkeys live in the jungle? Yes, they do. This book is by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson, and it's illustrated by Brian One. Oh, sleepy little monkey won't get out of bed. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, apple juice, orange juice, gooseberry pies. Monkey needs some exercise. Rutabaga, rutabaga, sis boom ba. Pop up monkey, rah, rah, rah. Do you pop up out of bed? Wow. First you get the rhythm of the head, ding dong. You guys get the rhythm of the head? Ding dong. Now we have the rhythm of the head, ding dong. Then you get the rhythm of the hands, clap, clap. Have you got the rhythm of the hands? Clap, clap. Then you get the rhythm of the feet, stomp, stomp. Have you got the rhythm of the feet? Stomp, stomp. Then you get the rhythm of the hips. Shake, shake. Have you got the rhythm of the hips? Shake, shake. Put them all together. You'll be feeling so much better. Ding, dong, clap, clap. Stomp, stomp, shake, shake. Do them backwards nice and quick. You'll be, you'll feel perky, that's the trick. Shake, shake, stomp, stomp, clap, clap, ding dong. Rutabaga, rutabaga, sis, boom, ba. Monkey, monkey, rah, rah, rah. Spunky little monkey, ready for the day. Come on, monkey, let's go play. Do you think you can be like the little monkey? And you can do things like clap, clap, stomp, stomp, shake, shake, rah, rah, shish, boom, ba. One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun that he called for another elephant to come. Two elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Let's count our elephants. One, One two, two, three. Three elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Let's count our elephants. One, two, three, four. Four elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Let's count and see how many elephants we have. One, two, three, four, five. Five elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for everyone to come. Let's find out how many elephants we have all together. We're going to count them all. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine elephants in our jungle of fun. Our next story is by Britta Tickentop. Get out of my bath. Do you want an elephant in your bath? Ooh, let's find out. Here we go. Hello, Ellie. It's Ellie's bath time. Can you help her make some waves? We're gonna gently shake the book from side to side and we'll turn the page and see what happens. Oh, good job. Look at those waves. Let's tilt the book to the left and see what happens next. Whoa, hooray, this is fun. Now we're gonna tilt the book to the right. But what's this? There's a crocodile in Ellie's bath. Ellie does not look happy. Can you say, get out crocodile? Yes, just like that. Get out crocodile. Oh dear, that didn't work. Crocodile is still here. And now Flamingo is in the bath too. And look, Tiger has just jumped in with a great big splash. This bath is very crowded. Surely no one else can fit in. Eek! It's a mouse! There are too many animals in this bath. Let's try to shake them out. Ready? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. That didn't work. And it looks like Ellie's had enough. She shouts, get out of my bath! And then she sucks the water up with her long trunk until all the water is gone. Brrr, the animals are shivering. Let's go, they say, it's too cold. And when Ellie is sure that the animals have left, she squirts all the water back into her bath. Ah, now there's lots of room in Ellie's bath again. Maybe it's time for you to go take your bath. But I don't think you should splash and make a mess. Hey friends, I have a really fun activity for us to try today. We're going to try to act like some animals. Our first animal is a hippo. Can you stand up and act like a hippo? Great job, friends. I bet that was fun acting like a hippo. Let's see what animal we get next. Oh, this one will be lots of fun. What does a jaguar say? Can you run like a jaguar? Oh, I bet you can. Here we go. Great job running like a jaguar. Oh, this one will be lots of fun. Are you ready? Let's slither like a snake. You can make a snake sound while you're at it. Here we go. Great job, friends. You did awesome. Our next animal is going to be a frog. I bet you can hop like a frog. You might even say ribbit, ribbit, just like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Good job, friends, good job jumping and hopping like a frog. Our next animal is going to be a fish. Oh, can you swim? Pretend you're swimming, swimming in a jungle river, just like a fish. A fish, here we go. Great job swimming like a fish. How about a bird? There are lots of birds in the jungle. Can you sound like a bird? Go tweet, tweet, and flap your arms like you're flying like a bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Great job, friends. I 
have one last animal for us. This animal is a flamingo. Can you stand on one leg? Give it a try. How about the other leg? Can you try on the other leg too? Great job, friends. We'll see you next week. So for our craft this week, we're going to make a paper chain snake. So you're just going to take strips of paper, make it into a paper chain, make a little head for it, and you'll have a paper chain snake. Connect them all together. We will, we will give you a basic pattern for one, and then Miss Cindy will work on making a paper chain snake puppet for you, and you'll be able to see how to do that by adding some string and a couple of tree branches or sticks that you might have at home. So we look forward to it. We want to see your pictures when you're done.